So this is the weapon in question, Tarnation. You can craft this as long as you've got the blueprints or the schematics. I rolled mine with Enhanced Chain Reaction and Clown Cartridge. Uh, you get this from the Seraphim's Throne World. You can do the Wellspring activity, get the five sort of blueprints for it and you're good to go. Uh, chain Reaction next season uh, with Arc 3.0. We don't know for absolute sure yet, obviously, but I still think it's going to be a really good weapon to craft because I'm going to talk about a little bit more. Bungie in the TWAB recently have announced that they're buffing heavy grenade launchers. This is a heavy grenade launcher. Not only is it a heavy grenade launcher, it's ARC heavy grenade launcher that's getting a 10% buff and like I said it's got chain reaction on. I definitely think it'll be a solid craft if you want to craft it. I've definitely done it. Uh, there's the buff that I was talking about, heavy grenade launchers does, it says here these don't see a lot of support in PvE, so we hope this makes them feel a bit better as a DPS or yellow bar clearing option, increased damage versus majors by 10%, so quite a solid buff, uh, I've been using it for about 3 or 4 days, uh, it feels a little bit clunky at the moment, uh, but I'm sure once these buffs come in, the output of the damage is going to be way better and obviously like I said chain reaction is also pretty solid anyway regardless whether it's at 3.0 or not chain reaction is still like a super fun perk. Uh, stay tuned I'm going to show you the rules that you can get on this tarnation if that interests you. Right, so this is the one I rolled I mean you can roll whatever you want obviously uh, I put two enhanced perks on there just because I've got loads of materials you don't have to have enhanced I didn't look on like GG or anything like that, I just went for the most velocity as possible. Uh, I put uh, the rapid fire frame velocity on there for the velocity sort of frame, so that gives it quite a lot of velocity. Uh, here I went with quick launch and high velocity rounds and the main two perks that you can sort of choose from. In the first slot we've got pulse monitor, killing wind, field prep, ensemble or ensemble, quick draw and clown cartridge. I think personally the pick of them two is either field prep or clown cartridge, obviously killing wind for PvP, but I don't really PvP so I went with clown cartridge, but field prep is another sort of solid option, and I also obviously went with chain reaction with arc 3.0 in the back of my mind, uh, you can craft this, all you need to do is get the sort of blueprints from the wellspring activity on uh, Savathun's throne world, uh, they drop quite often, uh, you can actually choose what day I think they drop from these tarnations as well. And just before you go, I just wanted to show you another cheeky little weapon because I appreciate you watching my video and this is another one you can do. It's sleepless and that also can roll with a chain reaction. This isn't craftable but it's very easily farmable. Got a couple of ways of farming for it. You can just use the umbral decoding at the uh, war table in the hell, Marshal of the Dreaming City. You can select there and just cash your umbrals away. And then you've got the bland well activities, which are now farmable. By the way, you can just keep farming these over and over again. And even if you don't get the rocket launcher, there's still some other good grenade launcher. Uh, sorry, other Dreaming City weapons you can also acquire while you're at it. Maybe do some bounties while you're doing it for next season. I hope the video has been good, uh, sleepless, definitely a really good rocket launcher with chain reaction, one of the better ones, have a great day.